from your table unless instructed by GoFab CNC to remove it. If you are instructed to remove them, this is how you're going to do it. If you look on the inside, there's a little spacer for the bearings. While you're putting the bearing onto the linear guide, you're going to allow that spacer to slide out behind as you place it onto the linear guide. Like so. If you're taking them off, the same concept. You're going to follow in with the spacer and make sure it goes into the bearing as you remove the bearing. When you get the bearings back on, the first step is going to be to put your dampeners back onto the top side of the bearings. From that point there, you will grab your sled and you're going to set it right on top to where all eight of the holes line up just right. Once you ensure that all eight of the holes are in position where you like them, you're going to go through and fill them in with the screws provided. Just keep in mind that we are not going to tighten these down super tight because they do have to be able to slide around to be repositioned. And you will do the same for both sides. Now before we get to the point where we actually put the robot onto the table, we're going to have to remove these back plates. These are the stopping plates that trigger the limit switches to allow the table to hold. You got three bolts, and they will just come right on off. After you get the nuts off, the plate will slide right off. The exact same thing on the other side. Once these plates are off, you are now ready to start putting your robot on. the bottom bolt and you'll notice how the motor dropped all the way down. We're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. And once that is removed, it'll drop all the way down. Now you have the bottom bolt removed from your motor and the motor's dropped to the maximum limit. It takes two people to put the robot onto the table. We're going to pick it up and then slide it right onto the table. Time. And then once we have a position over linear guide, we're going to set it all the way down. At this point in time, we're going to grab the sleds and position them close enough to where they need to be. You will have to lift up just a bit so you can get your sled under there. And about yay is where I want to put it. From this point, you'll have four bolts that are going to lock the robot into place. And they're going to be inserted from the outside with a washer on the outside, a washer on the inside, and then enough to lock them in place. At the same time, you will both lift up, position it right on the sled to where you want it, and you're going to insert the bolts on both sides. Once you have your bolts in position, you can let go of the robot. You're going to put your other washers on the inside. And then you're going to put the nuts on as well. Once the robot is on, you have both bolts locked in place. You're going to want to make sure that your sled is not making contact with the frame of the table. At this point, it is making contact, so all I'm going to do is slide that sled back a little bit. And you do the same exact thing on the other side. You're going to see that we have a little bit of contact up front here. So I'm going to slide that back just a bit. Once you have the robot positioned to where you want it, and the sleds are not making contact, we're going to go ahead and put the back plate back on just so we can square the robot back up. 
Once we have the back plates back on, to allow it to stop from the robot flowing off the back of the table, we're going to pull it to the furthest point back to make sure both sides are touching back plates. Once we have the robot positioned on the table and we squared it up with the back plates, it's going to take two people to make sure we have no type of dragging or any type of grinding while we walk it down the table. Once that we have confirmed there is no grinding and there is no contact between the sled and the table, we're going to come through and tighten up the bolts that are on the sled so we can maintain the position they are sitting in. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Once we have confirmed that they're all tight, we're going to take one more pass down the table just to make sure that there is no more grinding. Again, this will be done with two people. itself up against the sled. Do the exact same thing on the other side. The final step is to adjust your order back up and you want to make sure your pinion is touching the rack on the inside right here making good contact. Once you have made sure it is making good contact, you are going to lock in your bottom bolt and then tighten it down. Adjust your motor up, make sure you're making good contact with your pinion, and then insert your bottom bolt. Final step is you want to make sure that the bolts on the pinion will not make contact with the rack of the table. As long as it's about halfway on and the bolts clear the rack, everything will be just fine. 